G'day gorgeous and welcome to the podcast that is dedicated to turning entrepreneurial women into a millionaires from the inside out and enriching lives for generations to come. This week's podcast is five golden lessons Kim Kiyosaki shared with me today on a live interview for the Millionaires magazine and the Millionaires movement. You will see that Kim is an absolute powerhouse, not only as an entrepreneur, but as a role model for women all over the world and as an educator for financial independence and freedom. The G'day Gorgeous podcast is where you'll get real, raw and relatable stories, guidance and proven formulas that can help you overcome your frustrations and live a life that you truly love and deserve every day. I'm Amanda Jane Clarkson, Editor-in-Chief of Millionaires Magazine. I'm a best-selling author, a speaker, entrepreneur and a millionaires mentor. And of course, if you love the idea of being a millionaires too, and why wouldn't you? Please pop over and visit us, millionairessmagazine.com or click on the link below in the notes today. And of course, be sure to have your journal and a lovely cup of tea ready for your aha learnings that I picked up from the lovely Kim Kiyosaki. Let's jump right in. Good morning, gorgeous butterflies. I'll give you a moment to jump on. I had a fabulous time this morning with the beautiful Kim Kiyosaki. I learned so much from her and she's just so gracious and uh, so kind and giving of her time to share her wisdom with all of us in here inside Millionaires. Uh, For the Millionaires magazine and the movement, I got a precious 80 minutes with the woman with the rich woman as she is known that's her brand and um, couldn't be more chuffed so I've got the smile that just won't go off my face I'll just get into it because on this podcast today I really wanted to share uh, a couple of my takeaways from my conversation with Kim today and one of the great things about this conversation with Kim today is that she said to me she goes oh this is such a great interview it's just like having a conversation and she said we have so much in common um, you know with what you teach with what we teach here at, at Rich Woman um, and that was you know that's a real accolade to us and she really believes in the mission and the vision that we have here in elevating women in self-worth, net worth and life worth. And um, it was really cool to hear her say those words because she's a mentor of mine. She's a mentor of Robin's. And probably for many of you women here, uh, she may be even a mentor of yours. She has incredible books, incredible intelligence, wisdom. And most people know Kim through her husband, Robert Kiyosaki, who is Rich Dad Poor Dad Company. However, Kim is a powerhouse in her own right. And she said to me today, she said, oh, Amanda, even when I got back with Robert, we went out on our first date in 1980. Oh, gosh, in the 1980s. It was early 1980s something. And she said, you know, right from the day one, I always wanted to have my independence financially. I never wanted to be dependent on another person for the money. And I thought, I just love that message. And she also shared that she's one of three women, one of three girls growing up, and that her driving force as a young girl was freedom. Freedom to live a life by design, freedom to have more choice, to do what she wanted and never conform to having to have a job or security. And Kim, uh, her philosophy is that she doesn't believe that there is safety in a job. And that's why we talk about so much inside Millionaires here is, you know, we call it intrapreneur because job security, I don't believe it is here anymore, especially in today's climate. And so I've got a few of you on here now. Good morning, Louise. Lovely to share this moment with you. And um, a couple of my top takeaways from Kim today. Um, But I'm I'm going to, what I'm first going to do is just share with you um, the introduction that we gave Kim, because as I said, many people know her as the wife of Robert Kiyosaki and the Rich Dad Company behind the Rich Dad Company. However, she is so much more than that. So I'm going to briefly share with you a little bit about who she is and then share just a 
five or six of the takeaways that I think is worth writing down. So make sure you have your journal, ladies, with you today and take down these nuggets. So Kim is an internationally renowned speaker, author, entrepreneur, real estate investor. She's a radio show host uh, and an educator. She's always had an entrepreneurial spirit. Uh, She started an apparel business back in 1989 and has been involved in several businesses since uh, and most notably as the co-founder of Rich Dad Company. But nowadays, the most important message is that she has the freedom to do whatever she wants in life and she says, so can you. So she spends a lot of her time in Hawaii, but Over on top of that, she's developed the Rich Woman brand and includes some of her books called It's Rising Time, Rich Dad, Rich Woman's, Good Deal, Bad Deal, How Do You Find Real Estate Deals That Actually Make Money, and her bestseller, Rich Woman. So in addition to numerous events and webinars and articles and videos and games and so much more, Kim now travels around the world teaching and empowering women to be financially independent. And so this is the interview uh, opening of this morning's interview with Kim. And when you actually understand the accolades and what she's done, not behind Robert, but beside Robert. And this is what a lot of people say, behind every successful man is a great woman. And what she says is, why behind? Why not sometimes in front or why not beside? And I just love, love, love that message because I'm in business with my husband, Matt, and I have business partners as well. Robin is my business partner. I have team members in um, Melissa Coates is a team member. My sister Carmel and Shani is helping us out as well with copywriting. You have an amazing team around you, but why do we have to stand behind men? Why can't we stand behind, uh, beside them or often lead them? And I thought that was such an empowering message and she's not talking about being butch or losing your femininity it's just about having the courage to step up and this is one of the golden nuggets that I took from today and I think it's worth writing down is that she believes that more women need to stand up and take the lead especially when it comes to finance your own financial independence and not sit back hoping that somebody's going to take care of us looking to at the government looking at our partners looking at family members or any other way but why not step into our greatness and another thing that she shared with me is that often women say oh i'm going to start a little business on the side and she said well amanda why not start a great business? You know, a little bit like what we're doing and what she's doing is leading other women to greatness. And one thing Kim said to me, she said, we need more women as leaders, women to rise up and get out there and share their greatness with others. And so if you're listening to this, Ask yourself, wow, how am I conducting my life? Am I sitting back waiting for people to give me a handout, waiting for the government to take care of me, looking to my partner or other people to take care of me financially? And I'm not suggesting there's anything wrong with that or judging it, but you've got to ask yourself the question, am I playing small? And what have I got inside of me that I'm keeping small, that I'm holding down and not bringing out to the surface and sharing with other women? And we had a, so many different conversations today. As I said, I had a beautiful 80 minutes with this incredible woman, mentor, and so much wisdom to share. And I shared with her that I've had so many moments, especially on this journey for Millionaires and the Millionaires movement, where I've been nervous and asked myself, wow, do I have what it takes? And yet I still push myself. And that's what Kim was saying today is that the greatest growth that anyone one can have is just by doing something not just sitting there thinking about it gathering information but applying the information knowledge isn't power without application and that was such a profound message that she wants to share with the world out there so write all these things down there's such it's such great information that she was sharing and I'm so aligned with it and the millionaires movement I shouldn't say I'm aligned with it the millionaires movement is aligned with what she is saying 
So I asked him, what, you know, what are some of her top daily habits? And she said, you know, my top habits for each and every day was, well, first of all, I get a cup of coffee. <laughs> I get a cup of water or a cup of tea. Uh, and she takes care of herself. So she does some meditation because she believes that to be successful in life, especially if you're an entrepreneurial woman and we've got to take care of all areas of our life, that taking care of self is number one, mentally and spiritually, before we can take care of everything else. So that is her big habit for each day, getting a cup of coffee, doing some meditation and taking care of herself internally before she takes care of business. Again, aligned with the philosophy that we have here inside Millionaires. Another thing that I learned for today is that, you know, one of the greatest, I guess, downfalls of our school system is that we are taught not to make mistakes. We are taught that there is only one right answer. And we are taught that we need to go it alone, not to lean over and ask your friend sitting beside you at school for help, not to say, I can't solve this problem. Can you please help me, Robbie? Or I'm not that good at copy right now. Can you please help me, Shani? Or whatever like that, looking to others to help you. And she said it's a, almost a crime. And what she said that leads on from that is that so many women hold themselves back from greatness. We hold ourselves back from standing up on stage, having the light shine on us because of the conditioning that we were given at school, that we can't make mistakes. There's only one right answer and we've got to go it alone. And Kim believes the power for moving forward, especially for women, is collaboration and coming together through community and a mastermind. I mean, how aligned is that with the millionaires movement? It's what we talk about time after time after time, that it's dangerous to go it alone. It's scary to go it alone. And that nobody gets to the top of their mountain trying to go it alone. And Kim believes that together, if we band together, we rise together. And I think that's the reason behind of, uh, of her book, uh, it's, tire, it's Rising Time. And the whole preface behind that book is, it's time to come out from behind the shadows, women, rise together. And, you know, we had this conversation about being on a global stage where there's no competition, but together we rise and I share with Kim, you know, one of our missions inside Millionaires and one of our, I guess, things that we say every day here at Millionaires Magazine and the Millionaires Movement, what is behind that, the mission behind it is to elevate self-worth, net worth and life worth. And she really resonated with that and she agreed that we don't need to go it alone. We need to embrace our greatness stay in a collective community, band together and rise together. Just absolutely beautiful wisdom there. And she talks about three different things. And one of the th reasons that women fail in business, and uh, again, I couldn't agree more. So she said, the very first thing is that like everybody, as women, we aspire to have more in life. We aspire to have freedom. We aspire to have more for our family, to have more choice, to live a life that we dream of, whatever that means for you. So that's step number one. We have it in spades. And she said, then what happens is from her experience that we gather information and she calls that the acquiring phase. So we go to seminars, we read books, we invest into mentors, and we get all of this information. We get all of the knowledge. And then the third application is applying the knowledge that you've learned. And she goes, this is where women stop. So many women are frightened to make the mistakes we are frightened of what other people are going to think and say about us. And I really resonated with that because I will admit that has been me over and over and over again. I've held myself back 
so many times in fear of what others would think, what others would say. If I failed, I would look stupid. I would lose money. I would lose time. I'd lose my confidence. Does any of this resonate with you? Can you see yourself in this picture at all? And that's why I think we got on like a house on fire today. Like we really uh, had so much in common and we were so aligned with our message, but we're so aligned with I guess the journey that we've traveled being entrepreneurs and I think the message that Kim really wanted to get across today to our listeners and what I wanted to share this with my community today inside Millionaires Mastermind is that when you get to that third step that she calls application or applying that you've got to really dig deep and find the courage to just take that step forward and not be fearful of what other people think or say or frightened that the money is going to run out or that you're going to be ridiculed she goes because that's where the expansion happens that's where we grow into our greatness and if you're in the right mastermind and i'm saying this now if you're in the right mastermind you're following the right mentors when you fall and we do fall as entrepreneurs time and time and time again when you are in the right community, when you're in the right mastermind, and we spoke a lot about masterminds today and mentors, that somebody has your back. We are here to catch you when you fall. And I thought, isn't that a beautiful thing to remember uh, as a female or as a woman on the entrepreneurial journey that you're not alone, you don't have to be alone, and we need to let go of the past conditioning that school ingrained in us saying, don't cheat. You know, work it out for yourself. Stop looking over your shoulder that you can reach out and say, hey, I need help here. And I look at my team and we talked a lot about team today and that's what I'll get to in a moment. And Kim was really big on the mission and the team, how important it is to have the right team around you and the mission over money. Write that down, mission more than money. Without my team, without Robin, my sister Carmel, Mel, Shani helping me, my husband Matt, and every single one of you beautiful women inside this community, I know I wouldn't be sitting here today because we can't go it alone. We can't get there alone. We need the support of each other. And even though words don't matter, sometimes it's just the energy of the support. And this is what Kim really spoke about today because I did ask her a lot about Uh, you know, mentors and the mastermind community. And one thing she shared with me is that she doesn't like to be around negative people because being an entrepreneur is not an easy road. Being an entrepreneur is risky. You know, there's a lot of risk along the way, a lot of pitfalls, we make a lot of mistakes. And so therefore, it is vitally important to be in a mastermind. And this is her words, that she surrounds herself with certain women And she's got men in her community and in her group, in her mastermind group, but she's got a group of women that she bands together with and they travel to share their vision and their mission all over the world, teaching financial education, that these women talk about finding solutions to problems. Because I also share with Kim that in our company, when we have a problem, our staff have been taught and trained that Well, don't come to me with a problem each time unless you have at least three solutions to back the problem up. And we had this great conversation around that. And that's what she she shared with me is that when she's with her women and they travel, the beautiful thing about being an entrepreneur, doing the soulful work that you really love doing, and we spoke a lot about purpose, is that you come up with amazing ideas and solutions and turning something that could have been a problem into something great. I hope you're getting these messages and writing really, really fast. Give me a sign if this is resonating with you and you can really feel you know, the presence here of the wisdom that Kim was sharing with myself this morning. And soon it will be coming out in our Millionaires magazine for everyone to read and, and probably watch the video. And this is why it was such an, a, a wonderful conversation that we got to share this morning because we are so aligned in all of our teachings. Um, you know, and the message behind the message behind the message was, you know, and Kim said it over and over again, we must work more on our mindset 
than the tactic and the strategy. I'm seeing all the love hearts. Oh, I love it. The tactic and the strategy will not make you successful in business. What will make you successful in business and as an entrepreneur, and not only in business and as an entrepreneur, but in life, is the work that we do on our mindset. And that's why we talk about it inside Millionaires, the new Millionaires 80-20 rule, which I shared with Kim today and she loved it. 80% of it is a mind game. That's an inside job. And the tactic is just the how to. The what and the how is the tactic. But it's not going to make you successful. And that leads back to another wonderful golden nugget that we talked about is the mission over money. And this really resonated with myself, especially for the millionaires movement and what we're all about. And my team will know exactly what I'm talking about. And um, Kim has had a lot of shake up in her own company uh, and she's taken over the helm back in her own company and she'd stepped aside for many years, but she's chosen to step back in and take the reins of her own business. And I'll let her share more about that in the upcoming uh, interview. However, what she was getting back to was this, that when entrepreneurs put money before mission, they are likely to fail because when the hard times hit, they won't have the internal buy-in. They won't be connected soulfully. They won't be on a mission that is, is part of them to keep going and overcoming the hurdles along the way of being an entrepreneur. And I totally understood what she meant. And sometimes when you hand your company over or your business, and I've had this experience myself, sometimes other people's mission or their values, if not aligned with yours, and they truly don't understand where you're going with your business, that is an indicator that sometimes things may not work out. And this is what she talked about today is that mission is more important than money. Because if you're on mission with what you really value in life, where you want to get out there and solve problems, you want to enrich people's lives, you want to fill voids, then the money will come. And that's what I truly believe. That's what I teach inside Millionaires. I couldn't agree more. And I actually share with Kim that the businesses that I would call failures, even though I think they're great learnings, the only businesses that have not been successful for me financially, emotionally, and mentally and spiritually are businesses that were not driven from my heart and my soul. And so that is an incredible lesson to take away for every entrepreneur listening to this podcast today, for all of my women inside Millionaires. Think about the mission that you're on. Is it aligned with your values? So that every hurdle that you come across, and there will be many, many hurdles, countless in fact, <laughs> Do you have what it takes to overcome each of them? Because if you don't have it internally, don't expect to keep going to the end because you're likely to quit. And I thought that was one of the most profound messages or conversations that we could truly share today on this interview. So what else have I got in my little blue book over here? I have pages and pages and pages of notes. And as I said, I was blessed that Kim gave me 80 minutes of her time. And even my partner, Robin, said, do you realize how valuable her time is? I said, absolutely. I couldn't believe she gave me so much time. But I think that, you know, Kim said, you know, the vision that we have for Millionaires and the mission that we're on is so important that she wasn't in a hurry to get off the call today or off the interview. And she did say to me, Amanda, this is so important. Keep going on the mission uh, because this is really important information that you're sharing and um, we need more leaders. And so I'm taking a feather from that. I'm, I'm putting a feather in our cap there, girls. And um, as I said, I couldn't do this without each and every one of you. Now, what else have we got here? Um, let me see what else I've written here. I've got two more things I want to share with you. A lot of the times when Kim is doing her seminars and teaching about financial independence and making money for women, she'll have a lot of women that come up to her and say, well, money doesn't matter. And she said, I turn around and say to them, well, why don't you give up your job then? And then they just go silent. And here's the truth, that money affects every part of our life, whether we want to 
believe it or not. And I've got a saying here that it's not my saying. This is from Kim herself. And here's what she says. And I think this is a quote absolutely worth writing down. She says, money may not be the most important thing, but it does affect everything that is important. Health, where you live, food, the choices that we have, children's school, all the things that are important to us. And I think that is such a beautiful quote. I'll say it one more time. Money may not be the most important thing, but it does affect everything that is important. And I couldn't agree more. And so when people say, and you need to ask yourself this, and I ask myself this, is what is your um, relationship with money? How do you think and feel about money? And if I'll say the words, if you have stinking thinking around money or if you, you know, you get all weird about money or you think money is negative or money is the root of all evil, you need to ask yourself or find a way to align with a mentor who can help you change your habit change your belief around money and become more prosperous in your thinking because women say that they want money they want the freedom they want the lifestyle yet if we don't have this healthy relationship with money all of that is merely a pipe dream it just can't come to fruition and so she had a very strong uh, thought around that and again I couldn't agree more and then a couple of other little things that she shared with me and I love it she said another thing I want to share with you Amanda is people that get to live to a hundred years or older and I said well that's me girlfriend because I'm going to live to 120 <laughs> she said they have three things in common and I want you to ask yourself if you have these three things. Number one, people who live to more than 100 years of age, number one thing is that they have a purpose. Ask yourself, do you have a purpose? Do you know what you're on this? Part of me. I need a drink. I've been talking for long. Hang on. I wish that was a bubbles. I really need a bubbles. No, I don't. I need a cup of tea. <laughs> purpose. Are you aligned with your purpose? Do you know what your purpose is? Are you living and breathing your purpose? And Kim and I agree that we are all born with a vision, I mean a calling and a purpose. And we need to bring that to the surface and create a vision for our life. That is what gets us out of bed every day. If you don't wake up wanting to jump out of bed, knowing what the day ahead of you will bring, you haven't found or you're not living your purpose. Your purpose is what your natural gifts and talents are. So ask yourself, are you on purpose? Are you living your purpose? Number two reason that people get to live to more than 100, they have a positive attitude towards life. This is not about being positive all day, every day, because there is both sides of life but it is a positive mental attitude. And that comes back down to personal development. And Kim has been around personal development for most of her life. That's where the Rich Dad Poor Dad first got its breakthrough in, um, in the Amway business. Uh, I read that story, I heard that story. And so she's so much into personal empowerment and personal development. And that's where you cultivate that personal positive attitude. And number three, and I agree again, is resilience. As an entrepreneur, we will fall down time after time after time. And only resilience will give us the courage to get back up, put our big girl panties on, as she likes to say, and keep going. And the final thing I want to share here today on this podcast, I wanted to keep it brief, was you know when I asked him about being surrounded by mentors and her mastermind and the community she said she couldn't agree more to this day and Kim you know is a mentor of mine and I've met her many many years ago she's been out there teaching and sharing her wisdom for many years that even today she surrounds herself with mentors for every area of her life. She said, because I still have that negative talk. I still doubt myself. And I'm thinking, me too, me too, me too. Even if you're a leader, and think about what you're doing in your business, ladies. Even if you're leading in your business, we all as leaders, 
still need mentors. We need to surround ourselves with greatness. We need that mastermind community and we need that support group of others who believe in us to keep going with our vision and our message. Whatever that is for you, whatever product or service you have, you need to surround yourself with mentors. She says to fast track it, uh, a mastermind and others who believe in you. And um, so I'm not going to share anything else with you lovely, beautiful people today because I'm going to save it for the interview coming out very shortly. But I thought today I wanted to take a few little nuggets out of this interview and this time that I had with Kim today. As you can see, I can't get the smile off my face. Uh, It was, you know, an amazing experience. Again, thank you to Robin, uh, our publisher, who made this a possibility today. I've always loved the idea of having a chat with Kim, but uh, through the Millionaires Movement and the magazine, it's been possible. So thank you for that, Robbie. Uh, And today, ladies, I really hope that you enjoyed that. I did get to ask her a couple of other little questions from you ladies. Um, You'll have to wait for the interview. Kaz is saying it's nice to know women like Kim, a global leader, so respected um, and so, so... Um, brilliant in her own right and so successful still has doubts we are just human beings we are all the same and we need mentors around us we need that mastermind and we need the belief from not only from ourselves, but sometimes from other women as well so I hope you ladies enjoyed that thank you for joining me on this podcast and um, I cannot wait to share more of this interview with you and I think you can see the value that Kim will be bringing in our edition coming soon of Millionaires Magazine. I'll let Robin share when that date will be. Um, This is amazing. Thank you, ladies, for all the comments. I really appreciate it and uh, for jumping on this podcast. And if you're watching this podcast and you're brand new, please share this with as many people as you can. We only bring you real, raw and relatable information and uh, I guess wisdom that truly can impact your life if you want that life of freedom you want that life by design get out there and make it happen that's it from me ladies I am definitely off to have a cup of tea I love each and every one of you have a fabulous afternoon I'm sending big cyber hugs much much love in this room today and again appreciate each and every one of you in my community Um, together we will rise together and fulfill our own dreams bye for now beautiful ladies now as you can see i've literally only shared a tiny snippet of what kim and i spoke about today on our interview for the millionaires magazine and the movement and even if you implemented just a few of the golden nuggets that i shared with you today i promise that you'll be on your road to fulfilling your dreams sooner than you think as always thank you so much for joining us And until next week, I appreciate you tuning in to the G'day Gorgeous podcast that is dedicated to turning entrepreneurial women into a millionaires from the inside out and enriching lives for generations to come. And of course, you know I'll be super grateful if you just please share this podcast with your friends, family, girlfriends, in fact, anyone else you know who would greatly benefit. They are always G-rated. Lastly, to find out more about Millionaires Mentoring for Entrepreneurial Women, our latest books, inspirational stories, more about the Millionaires Magazine and the movement, pop over to millionairesmagazine.com. And of course, till next week, be bold, be courageous, and even more fabulous. Bye for now.